So everybody, I want you all to attempt today. There are no right or wrong answers, okay? I just want you to give it your all, participate, uh, and see what you can do, okay? So just like in English class where they have rough draft, we are doing rough draft math. So when I ask you to write something down, it doesn't matter if it's right or wrong. I just want you to participate, okay? Everybody cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so here's the first thing that we're gonna do. We're gonna skip the bunnies because I think you've already been with the bunnies. Um, what we are going to do is if you look right here, I'm getting better with this iPad, guys. It's pretty cool. We're going to be focused on these two learning goals today. And let me highlight these little words here, okay? Rational exponents, and then we've got radical expressions, okay? And if you look at our two goals, we're gonna rewrite powers with rational exponents and ra as radical expressions, and then the second one, we're gonna rewrite radical expressions as powers with rational exponents. So really quick, you can just put your pencils down, raise your hand really quick. Somebody tell me what is a rational exponent. What is that? A rational exponent. Rough draft, no wrong answers. What do you think? Maybe something you can do off the top of your head. What else? Hit me, hit me. What we got? It's a great first guess. I need two more. I need two more. Or I'm going to sit here and it's going to be annoying. Rational exponent. What do you think? <laughs> you got something? No. No? Yes. Power to a number. Power to a number. Great guess. What else? Give me one more. Hook me up. I only need three. We have one. We had two. Somebody hook me up. We can go faster if you keep, you know, participating. Lane, what's a rational exponent? Girl, I don't know. I don't know? Yes, we'll go again. Maybe something inside an equation. Those are perfect three guesses. What's a radical expression? Radical, what's the word radical mean? Somebody knew, sorry. Radical. What's radical mean? Uh, cool. It, it could mean cool, what else? Yeah. What else? Uh, Try to relate it to math. Uh, I don't know. Something cool in math? Uh, like Relevant. Different know. equations put together. Somebody hook me up with one more before we move on. I love the guesses. Keep them coming. There are no wrong answers. I just want to hear your, your voices. What we got? I know you don't know me. Just deal with me. No, I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about radicals. Radicals. What do we got? Um, One more person. Tell me something. Radical. Expressions that have exponents. Ooh, something maybe with exponents. Okay. And exponents are those numbers that are chilling up top, right? If you look up here, we've got exponents chilling up here. You are doing some simplifying with expressions. We've got all that going on. Now, the questions that I'm asking are what you need to be able to answer by the end of the day. So you're not supposed to know what rational exponents and radical expressions are just yet. But I'm not going to tell you the definition either. You need to come up with the definition yourself, okay? So our essential question right here is on an iPad. My bad. Switch in between. Is how can we convert between rational and radical expressions? Guys, what does the uh, word convert mean? What the heck does that mean? Like bring two things together, right? Uh, could be. You change them. What else? Turn into. Turn into something else. So maybe these things can go back and forth, back and forth, right? So we're going to convert, and I'm going to basically pull that word out here if I can. We're going to convert, which means to change, 
that's what you guys said. We're going to change between rational exponents and radical expressions. That's the whole thing. That's the whole goal of the day today. So at the end of the day, you need to be able to change between a rational exponent and a radical expression, okay? So let's figure out what the heck those two things mean. You ready? So here's what I'm going to show you. So over on the green side, this highlighter's very small. Oh, you can click it. I don't, I don't know how to do that. Oh, I see it. Oh, look at this. We'll do, um, we'll do red. Okay, so radicals are in the red over here. Oh my gosh, this is, this is awful. And then we've got green is the rational, okay? What I want you to do is on your scratch piece of paper right now, on the left side, put down rational exponents, what I have in the color green. I love all the people that immediately got to work. Thank you so much, that is beautiful. On the left-hand side of your paper, on the left, you want to write down rational exponents. On the right-hand side, you're going to write down radical expressions. Some people today have drawn a line down the middle. That's cool. Whatever floats your boat. I love this group over here doing that. That's beautiful. This group has drawn lines. That's awesome. Rational exponents on one side, radical on the other. Love it. You do not have to copy the examples. Some of you are doing that. You don't have to do that just yet. There you go. Okay. I'm going to give you about 20 more seconds to get your work organized. Now, what we're going to do right now is we are going to do something called a think, ink, and then share. So what I want you to do is after you've got it done, I want you to put your pencils down. So just put them down. You don't need them. You don't need your pencils. And what I want you to do is we're going to take about 45 seconds. And what I want you to do is I want you to look at the left hand side of all the things that I've highlighted in green. So just look over there and find something in common about all the things that are in green. And then you're going to look at all the things in red and find something in common with them, okay? So you have no pencils in your hand right now. You can even fold your hands if you want to. I want you to look over at the left hand side. Everybody's eyes should be at the board. Look at the left hand side for 30 seconds. Don't touch your pencil. You're not allowed to touch it. You're trying to find something in common with all three of those things that I highlighted in green. Don't touch your pencil. Just look over there. Find something in common. Right, right hand side, find something that is in common. Don't touch your pencils yet. Don't touch them. You should be looking at the right hand in red. What do they all have in common? Now, pick up your pencil. Do not talk to the people in your group. You gotta write first before we talk. Don't pick or don't talk to people, okay? I want you to write your own def uh, definition of what you think a rational exponent is. Write it on the left hand side, and then when you're done that, write me a definition in your own words of what you think a radical expression is. We just talked about it as the warm up, and you guys didn't know what it is, but I bet you can figure out something, okay? Write your own definition. Now, guys, if you are stuck, I got it. <laughs> if you are stuck, here's some sentence stems that you can uh, use, okay? So, what I want you to do really quick, you can now talk 
and I want you to talk to your group that you've got. Tell me, what do you think is a rational exponent and what do you think is a radical expression? But before you talk, I see some people writing in complete sentences, which is amazing. Other people haven't got that far, but you wrote down a problem. I'll accept a problem. If you want to write down a problem, like, hey, this is what it is, that's completely fine. So talk to the people in your group. What is a rational exponent? What is a radical expression? If you have trouble talking, look up at the board and use those sentence stems to start talking if you need it, okay? All right, uh, two and a half minutes. Go ahead, start talking, go. If you're having trouble, start with that. So I think all rational exponents have what? What they all have. So like look up there at all the greens. What do they all have? Yes, but so do the reds. So it's got to be something different than that. But that's a good start. That's a good start. That's what I like. The participation. You guys having trouble talking? Use some of those up there. You've already got it? You've got all the same opinions? What's up? Yeah, you can share both. Yep, absolutely. How are we doing, guys? We're doing good. We're doing good? Yeah. Okay, so I think expressions in radical form have what? Uh, uh, like their power to a certain number. Power to a certain number? Well, I don't even know. What does your group think? I think it's the same thing. That's he thinks the same thing. The same thing? What's a radical expression? So is this a radical expression? It's like a squared number. Uh, like a squared number. It's an exponent in... Oh, I don't know. No. This, I don't know what this thing's called. Outside like, yeah, like outside to the left. Okay, something outside to the left. And you said it's something with like a square... Like the square number. Square number. Can you do... Hold if you on. don't know the vocab word, can you do a visual with your hands? What are you talking about? You've got about 60 seconds. You want to know what a rational exponent is and an expression in a radical form. You guys all done talking? Yeah, okay. Give me a radical expression and a rational exponent. Give me two examples. Can't use the ones up there. All right, you're all done? Done talking? Okay, give me an example of each one. If you are done talking in your group, I need an example of each. But it's got to be different from the ones that are up on the board. Come on. Rough draft math. Who cares if you're wrong? Write something down. You sitting there is not learning. You got to try. You got to try. You got this. I love it. Looking good. Remember, if you're done talking, I need an example of each. Some people are still writing in complete sentences, and I love it. I love it. If you haven't written me a complete sentence, you should try to do that too. It helps with your retention. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. means that it has a fraction. Like, yeah, like a fraction. Wait. Okay. The green one. All right. Yeah. Now, I'm going to challenge you. All uh, right. So, if you had, I don't know, like one half to the third, is that a rational exponent? Or, excuse me, yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, I see what you mean. So, the fraction's got to be in a specific spot, right? Cool. I should have had a timer up, but I don't know how to do that on the iPad just yet. But you got 30 more seconds. Love it. Love it. Love it. Can you get me a radical expression example over there? That looks good. That looks good. I need two examples. Oh, you got one. That looks good. That looks good. 
Those look great. Do you have two examples for me? Oh, bruh. We need two examples. So come up with two something. You guys got examples? Love it. Love it. Cool, cool. All right. I'm feeling confident with you guys. I'm going to kill the time on that one. And I lost the iPad. So back there. Yep. Sweet. Thanks. All right, so guys, we talked about, so far, we talked about rational exponents. A lot of you guys use this really awesome word which was called a fraction, okay? You notice that they all had in common some sort of fraction. And guys, if you look at the root word ratio, ratio is actually a fraction, right? So if you talk about a ratio, if you look up here at my hands, it is a fraction. You're gonna have a number on the top and a number on the bottom, okay? Now, a radical expression, what did they all have in common? What do they all got? Some sort of square root symbol. You've got this guy. If you look at my hands, right, you've got this guy. What the heck is that called? It's a square root. It might be a square root. So let's, let's do a couple really quick. You ready? Here's a square root. Uh, what is this guy? If there's a three chilling up there. Cubed root. I heard somebody say it. Uh, somebody give me a number. Five. Five. That's the fifth root. Somebody give me a bigger number. Seventeenth root. Somebody give me a four-digit number. One thousand six hundred seven. That is uno mil seiscientos siete. Right? See? I think. Did I get that? No. Close enough, muscle menos. All right. There's the 1,607th root. So guys, this is a radical, okay? This is a radical, all right? So anything that you make with something like this is a radical expression. So guys, just to go back for the goal of our day, we're gonna be converting, which means change, between a rational exponent, something with a fraction in the exponent, and a radical expression, something with a square root. So we're gonna be going from fractions and we're gonna be moving into square roots and back and forth, back and forth. That's the whole goal of the day, okay? All right, so what I want you to do, 